Yes. Our very first YouTube video. My name is Shari Nay. And I'm Quentin. And we are doing a mukbang. We're about to grub on this Jolly Bee. But we're just going to sit down and chat, the, chat with you guys and eat and give you a rating on Jolly Bee. So, this is our very first time ever having Jolly Bee. I just heard about this yesterday, honestly, and I just searched it <laughs> on Google <laughs> to see we have one in Arizona, and we did. And so we want to give you guys a taste test and tell you guys how we like it. We both sure. love, I know I love fried chicken. I'm from Georgia, so we love some fried chicken in the South. Yes, indeed. And so we're going to give it a taste test for you guys. Yeah. So, we got the $25 family meal, so it came with 10 pieces of chicken, three sides, large side. I don't know how this is a... What family are you going to feed with this? I don't know how this is a large, but three large sides. So we got all three of their sides. So fries, sticky rice, sticky rice, and mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. And then they gave us... I'm guessing it's gravy. I guess it's what they dip their chicken in. Yeah. Never done it before, but I guess we'll try it today. Um, disclaimer, Jolly Bee is not sponsoring this video. We're not sponsored by Jolly Bee. We're just doing this for fun. Um, and so I guess we can just dive right in <laughs> and set our plates That's first. Good. So I think I'm gonna get I'm gonna get oh, Ooh. it looks crunchy. Ooh. Do you see this? They got a little toothpick in there. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get a lid. I'm gonna get one of each. I know one, so one is spicy and one is regular, like original. I think so that's spicy. This looks darker, so I'm assuming that's spicy. It looks spicy. I think this is spicy. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, babe. Let me see a little bit of, what? Oh, we. <laughs> it says spicy on the toothpick. It literally says spicy on the, on toothpick, the toothpick, and he's like, I don't know which one is spicy. You stupid! <laughs> My bad. Attention to detail. Okay, I'm gonna get some fries. Just some so. fries. They fries don't look they're crunchy, but it's okay. Yeah, they look, they look like they gonna be pretty good though. They're gonna taste. That. Mashed potatoes. And this is the rice sticky I'm not rice. really a big gravy person. Like I'm not either, but I guess we're just gonna, gonna, gonna try everything. I've never had sticky rice with. Not with some I mean, fried chicken. I've had some. Oh, I've had rice with chicken, but. But that's usually like you know like that. That Uncle Ben's rice. Yeah, Uncle Ben's rice. It ain't no sticky rice. And then some mashed potatoes with gravy. And then this is a dipping sauce, I'm guessing, and gravy. Yeah, that's probably for the chicken. I'll probably try it. Mm. I'm not a big it's gravy. It's weird. Let me get out a little bit. Mm. So also while we're eating, we're going to answer some questions that people ask us all the time. And so we wanted to answer eat with y'all so if you want to pull up a seat at your table get you something to eat and just join sit down us. and join us so let's, let's pray let's pray Heavenly father we thank you for this day we thank you for this meal that's been prepared and we ask that you bless it and bring nourishment to our bodies and bless the hands that prepared it in jesus name we pray amen amen so i guess i want to i want to try it i'm gonna let you try it first so let's see Ooh, that thing is spicy. Sound crunchy. What you think? Is it good, babe? Is that <laughs> Why you think that's fake? I don't know. I'm going to try the original. It don't taste like nothing. It got no flavor. 
But it's crunchy though, you guys. Cool. You wanna hear it? It's cool. You know, definitely you have better. It's definitely been bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Would you buy it again? No. Probably not. No. I know it's a gravy. That's the best I've ever had. I think it's funny how it's supposed to feed the family. They gave us two gravies, but then, you know, uh, who going to eat all this gravy? People who love gravy. Mm. So, first, you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, first, just to start this conversation. So, first question that people always ask us is, how did we meet? <laughs> you want to answer that first? So, yeah, so my side of it is, you know, so we were always ashamed to tell people what platform we met on, but we met on social media. We always tell people we met on social media, but uh, we actually met on Tinder, mm -hmm. which is still social media, so we, we, we're not lying. But, you know, with the bad rep that Tinder has and, you know, things like that, we wanted to, you know, not not share that with everybody, but we are definitely more open about it now. We think it's cool, it's funny, you know, especially how it happened, but we did meet on Tinder. She swiped on me first though. Um, and then pretty much how on my side of it, I was like swiping, I was like, this Tinder stuff, side note, it was a bet that me and a friend had for me to make a Tinder if I lost in the game. A pool, so that's how I ended up on Tinder in the first place. But yeah, so I was swiping, swiping, swiping. I was swiping left most of the time. Then I was swiping left so fast, I paused on her picture. And you know how when your fingers, like, if you hold it down on the screen, you can swipe it back. I swipe that that picture back. And I was like, oh, hold up a minute. And so then I swiped right, and then it matched. So, so yeah. And I messaged her on Tinder, and here we are now. True story. Yep. Tinder, match on Tinder on a Wednesday on March. What day was it? March 6th. March 6th, which was a Wednesday. I already said that actually. Right but <laughs> we matched on a Wednesday. Went on our first date on a Friday. And then went on our second date on a Sunday. So but in the span of a week, we met each other for the first time and went on two dates, which sounds crazy, <laughs> but it happened. Yeah. Um. So that's how we met, and Tinder doesn't have the best rep, like you said, but you can you can meet. Yeah. I I, I yeah. Don't don't, don't sleep on, on Tinder. I didn't expect to meet my future wife on Tinder. I never expected that, but hey, don't sleep on Tinder. So, next question that. It's far as my back. They're cold. They're cold. This whole meal is not worth $25. I don't even, I won't even pay $5 for this meal. Dang. It's trash. <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> it's nasty. It's not like trash. I've had it worse, you guys, but. Yeah. Maybe it would taste better if it was like fresh, fresh. Like the food is not like cold, cold, but it's not steaming hot. Yeah. But second it's question that people always ask us is, what was our first impression of each other? I'll go first. Yeah, you can go first. So I remember like it was yesterday. We matched on Tinder on Wednesday. We went out. To see Captain Marvel, that movie was fire. It was pretty good. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to see it. We, go, we went to go see Captain Marvel. And I remember driving. My drive to the movie theater was like the longest drive of my life. Because I have never met this man at all. And I, but I'm meeting him like in person two days later. So imagine how you would feel. Got to the movie theater, sat in my car. 
contemplated about turning back around and go back home. That was how nervous I was. <laughs> and then as I'm walking, he calls me up and he's like, hey, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm standing right next to the movie theater. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I see you. She was hiding. <laughs> and I'm looking around and I just see like this tall, dark-skinned dude walking towards me. First of all, give you a bad story. When I initially swiped on him, I didn't think he was that attractive. But when I saw him in person, oh, he was he was cute. He was cute. She be trying to play me, man. But first impression, I would say tall and cute. First impression after we had a real conversation on our first date would say this man is genuine and has values. And this is somebody I could date at that time. Yeah, no, for sure. Cause like we were there, we we were there at BJ's probably till like pa like past midnight for sure. Just talking, like we were just having like deep conversations, just talking about our faith and you know all these things and um, and yeah, and definitely just seeing how she like opened up, you know, about that stuff um, would definitely be intriguing yeah. for me too, and um, definitely something that I was you know, interested and wanted to take seriously, so, um, so yeah. yeah. Getting on like that topic of after we had our first conversation, how was that for you? I think for me, it was, it's kind of scary because like there is a stigma behind like what you, what you can talk about on first date and what you can't. Yeah. Or people are afraid to talk about certain things because yeah. they're afraid that person's gonna, That's what it gonna is. leave them or not be interested interested in them in, at all anymore. Yeah. And so, what about that? Um, uh, I mean, you, you know, it's just like it's one of those things where like, I feel like you can't put a timeline. You know, from one, obviously, what you talk about and you know, and, and how deep you go into your conversations and things like that. All that's gonna be predicated around, obviously, where you know, that conversation is going and how, you know, things are going. But then also just, you know, to fast forward to that, I also feel the same way about, you know, when you dating somebody or, like, oh, I should be with this person for this long before I marry them or, you know, things like that. And just knowing that for those who are in a situation where they're playing with their minds, like people are going to have their thing to say regardless of whatever the situation is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have people say if you're in a relationship for five to 10 years, they're going to say, Oh, you've been with him that long. Why you ain't marry him? Oh, what's taking him so long? You know, things like that. Or if you've been with somebody for, you know, five, six months, they're going to say, oh, it's, it's too soon. Why ain't you getting married so soon? You know, so at the end of the day, people going to have their thing to say, so. Yeah. And I think, like, not falling victim to that or not falling into those things or what other people are saying about your relationship. Mm -hmm. That's the number one driver in our relationship. Like, you can't listen to the naysayers um, because there are going to be a lot of people who don't agree with what you're doing just like there are going to be a lot of people who do agree with what you're doing mm -hmm. and so but at the end of the day that first found that first conversation was like the foundation of our entire relationship yeah and so yeah. but once again thank you for joining in to our video to, um today yeah. Even though it was nasty, we were hungry, as <laughs> yeah. you can see. I was hungry. Um, but we would not order yeah. this again. We didn't eat all the chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we got a lot of gravy, though. Yeah. So I would honestly give this, if we were to rate. One to ten, probably. Well, this like out of ten, I would, me being generous would be giving like it a two. Yeah. Jolly Bee might tell you better Somewhere in different else. places so this is not what we're saying today is not a fact it's just our own opinion once again but we definitely i would definitely would not go back yeah we hope that you all have a great rest of your week great yeah. rest of your day whatever day you're watching this video on please like comment and subscribe as always we appreciate you all hit that notification but that notification bell as well definitely want to Make sure y'all keeping up with the latest. And we appreciate you. Peace.